Jefferson City Attorney says he is puzzled by a lawsuit over the Judge Doyle Square project downtown. The development company that is building part of the project is suing the city. Rose Schmidt is here to explain the controversy. Rose? That's right, Eric. City leaders told us last month that they needed to build what Beiler Real Estate couldn't. Now that development company says it wasn't consulted on that plan. It's hard to miss it as you drive by, the giant hole in the ground. That's a parking garage the city is building. The controversy, though, is about what's supposed to go on top of it, a structural slab known as the podium. It has an additional two floors of parking and retail spaces. City leaders claim Beitler real estate officials told them it would be too expensive for the development company to build the structure, so instead the city decided to build the podium. Last month, Common Council unanimously approved spending $11 million to do so. Mayor Paul Soglin made the case that night. We have to make sure that if the developer doesn't complete this portion of it that we complete it. It means spending an additional $11 million. But Beitler Real Estate says in court filings they weren't consulted on that plan and the city building the podium violates their development agreement. City Attorney Mike May disagrees and tells us he believes their defense of the case is strong. Alder Mike Bevere tells me the city is not hitting the pause button on this project. The Urban Design Commission is meeting this evening to discuss design plans for the podium despite the lawsuit. We reached out to Beitler's attorneys but have not heard back. The mayor's office referred our questions back to the city attorney. Live in the WISC-TV newsroom, I'm Rose Schmidt.